All right, so today I played earnings on RH. I did a put spread, an out of the money put spread at 515, 510, expiring same week, so same week expiry. So you could see here I collected a dollar, so 895 minus 795. So I collected 895 for the 515 put, but I had to pay 795 for the 510 put. So that's the spread created. So that gives me $1 collected. My max loss on this trade will be $5, the width of the spread, minus the, the $1 that I create that I collected. So for me to win on this trade, I need RH to be above 515 by December 10th. So by Friday. Now let's see what happened to RH after earnings. So you can see RH went from 576 to 646 after hours. So it looks like this trade is going to be a winner as long as it doesn't reverse tomorrow morning at the open which is still possible. We've seen it often uh, this earnings season. So for now, if it stays as is, this trade is a, is a winner. So a quick uh, $1 profit. Now, most likely I'm gonna close it tomorrow for maybe 10 cents or even less. Uh, so I won't, I won't let it expire worthless till Friday because anything is possible. It could come back down um, after the open. So I'd rather just close it. So maybe I'll put an order for 7 cents. So here's how I would close it. So simply make sure that I am got grouped by strategy over here. Then I've got the create order button here. I'm going to click on create order. I get the order entry window that appears automatically here. And I'm just going to put the price that I want to pay to close it. So 0 0.07, let's say. And in fact, I'll just leave it in for now. Click send order and submit. That's it. And when I submit i just need to make sure that it says here buy to close sell to close that's it send order so in this video i'm going to talk about why i like to sell puts for earnings why do i only sell the put side why don't i sell the call side why don't i sell both at the same time why don't i do an iron condor um so i'm going to say why i sell the put side mostly for earnings now obviously i had no way of knowing where the stock was going to go after earnings i don't know there's no way of knowing and I don't try to predict it either the reason I always play the put side two reasons because I've noticed that they win more often but also I've noticed that it's easier to roll it's either to it's easier to try and save the trade so first of all let me show you what do I mean by it wins more often first of all from experience I've noticed that the put side wins more often I've noticed that stocks when they move hard they tend to move hard on the upside they they're still possible it's still possible that it drops 20 or 30 percent but it doesn't happen that often when it moves hard it tends to move uh, up so let's let's look at a few stocks and obviously i'm not going to look at all all the stocks here i use a website called earning stats it doesn't it's a free website it doesn't have all the companies but it has pretty popular ones so i'm going to look at a few stocks here and i'm going to show you where you could see the um, the movement that occurred in the past earnings so let's start with apple and then instead of going to dashboard here i'm going to go to uh, actual versus expect actual versus expected so basically i'm going to compare actual movement versus expected movement so this is for apple so let's look at the chart here so i'm going to look at this chart over here okay on the right side i'm going to look at this chart so you can see the gray area, that's the expected move and the, the candles, the green and red candles, that's the actual move. So just by looking at it quickly, you can tell, you can already see that there's more green than red. So right off the bat, you can see that after earnings, stocks, this stock, for example, Apple has gone up more times than it has gone down. Now, the reason I like to do an out of the money put spread at expected move exactly is my chances of winning is, is higher because I basically win as long as the stock stays above this gray area after earnings. So if we look how many times did it drop below this gray area after earnings, out of how many earnings do I've got, do I have here? It's, it says somewhere, I think, uh, if I go back to home or maybe dash, I'm going to go to stock stats. It's going to show me how many earnings they've analyzed for Apple. 
so they've analyzed total earning events analyzed i don't think it's yeah 76 okay so out of 76 i'm gonna go back to to the uh, actual versus expected uh, dashboard so remember 76 is the number of events earnings events that is uh, shown over here uh, website is a little slow I'm not sure if it's my computer or the website but yeah so out of 76 you can see that one two three four five six seven eight eight out of 76 times and out of the money put spread would have lost otherwise all these other times and out of the money put spread that expected move would have won now, what if I did a, an out of the money call spread? So you can see that anything above the gray area would have been a loser. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 30, 23. So you can see 23 out of 76 times a call spread and out, an out of the money call spread at expected move would have been a loser. Now, what if I, I would have done an iron condor every time? So then you have to consider, yes, I would have won many times and there would be 29 times where I, lo I lose on the call spread, but the times where the call spread is a winner would have made up for the times where the call spread is a loser. That's, that's a reasonable uh, assumption, but I just find it easier to just have one restriction on the trade so that I can win instead of having instead of adding two restrictions so I don't know I don't know the um, the back testing of this if it's actually worth it to sell the iron condor but just from experience whenever I lose I tend to lose on the call spread so I just stopped selling the call spreads and I just stick to put spreads and just by looking at Apple over here you could obviously see an out of the money put spread wins more often and and even even the cost spread doesn't beat it still goes up a lot and when it goes up a lot it's not as easy to close so for me i just find it easier to sell the out of the money put spread because it wins more often as you can see from this chart here now this is just apple and also if i if i do sell a put spread and it gets breached i could either take the loss and move on or I can try to save the trade. Now, it's easier to save a put because eventually the stock goes up. Over time, the, the general direction of a stock is to go up. So it's easier to roll and save. So I can roll a put spread by either in adding contract or I can roll a put spread by turning it into a naked put. So as long as the stock eventually goes up and I can afford to roll the trade, then Event eventually a loser ends up being a winner and in this case in the case of Apple we would have had about maybe one two what was it I think I said seven seven losers they would have to save out of 76 now let's look at another stock I guess let's look at Adobe pretty good stock here did it switch automatically looks like it did okay this is pretty obvious we definitely see more green than red we do have a big red candle over here, but that just happened once. If you had a put spread, your loss is capped. But look how many times you would have won. Remember, for me to lose on an out of the money put spread at expected move, I need a red candle that is below the gray area. So if this one's barely below it, so maybe I would have, maybe I would have broken even, broken even maybe the stock would eventually come back up maybe it continued down i obviously don't remember don't know the details of that moment but this this basically shows you the movement right after earnings and the gray area is the expected move before earnings so right after earnings you could see that the out of the money put spread would have lost maybe one two three four times and maybe over here five times so an out of the money put spread at expected move would have lost five times in this scenario and how many earnings here do we have looks like we have a lot as well I'm gonna go back to dashboard I think or stock stats to see how many earnings is analyzed here so yeah this is pretty slow so 74 so definitely definitely some good stats here so I've looked at Apple I've looked at Adobe and we saw that uh, watch list stats actual versus expected we saw that the out of the money put spread would have won uh, more often 
And so that's another reason why I like I prefer to do out of the money put spreads. Let's look at I guess we to look at Amazon. I don't like Amazon with earnings, but let's look at Amazon. Uh, all right, yeah, let's see this one for Amazon looks pretty even. We do see a lot of red, pretty close, maybe red a little bit more red than green in this case. But an out of the money put spread at expected move, the stock can still drop. But as long as it stays above the strike, you still win on the trade. So that's what's great about an out of the money put spread. You can win if the stock goes up, you can win if the stock is flat, and the stock can still drop a little bit and you still win on the trade. But obviously if it drops a lot more than, than the expected move, then you would lose on the trade. So you see that, let's look how many times it went outside of the expected move on the downside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. So for Amazon, it's not that great, but I would still always play the put side. On the call side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the reason I would always play the put side is because at least I can try to save it. Obviously I would not be able to turn Amazon into a naked put, but I would roll it by or save it by uh, increasing the width of the spread. And that's how I would save Amazon in the case of an out of the money put spread. Here, let's look at, let's look at a different stock here. Um, Baba, yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's look at Alibaba. I think Alibaba drops more often. So we don't have a lot of trades, a lot of events on Alibaba, but as you can see here, we definitely see more green, so that's good. How many times does an out of the money put spread lose? So one, two, and maybe this one a little bit. So two, two times in this scenario here, an out of the money put spread would have lost at expected move, which is pretty good. Well, let's look at a different stock, uh, Caterpillar, Costco. Yeah, I guess let's look at Costco. Costco doesn't have high premium, so I don't usually play Costco for earnings, but let's just look at, I'm trying to prove a point here, which is uh, an out of the money put spread wins more often. So here you can see it looks pretty even just by looking at it. But you could still see that an out of the money put spread would win a lot. So it would it would lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It would have lost nine times with Costco. And the cost spread actually would have lost less. So actually in the case of Costco, an iron condor would have been good. Iron Condor at expected move would have been good. So call spread loses one, two, three, four, five, five times. So in the case of Costco, yeah, it's a little bit different. But if you don't want to count, if you want to, if you don't want to rely on statistics and change your strategy based on the stock, that's why I just like to keep it simple. Just stick to one strategy for everything, and that's an out of the money put spread at expected move. And either I take the loss and move on, or I try to save the trade. Uh, let's look at another one here. Disney, maybe. Uh, Facebook. Facebook is a good one. Definitely playable for earnings. So you see it had a big down movement here in 2018 or 2019. Yeah, July 2018. But other besides that, it's all it, when it when it goes up after earnings, it goes up hard. So look how many look how many times the green has surpassed the gray area. Uh, so the call spread would have lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The call spread would have lost 12 times, yet the put spread would have lost 2 times. So another example where the out of the money put spread wins more often. And I guess one last uh, stock we can look at. Google, uh, I don't think Google does well for earnings, but let's do Netflix. Actually, let's do Netflix and NVIDIA. Okay, how about this? Google, Netflix, and NVIDIA, because they're pretty volatile. So let's look at Google. So right off the bat, you can see there it's way more green than red, so that's good. How many times does the red go outside the gray area? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, not bad, compared to all the events we see here. And you can see that the call spread does get breached. The, the, the call spread would have lost often because you can see that the green candlestick surpasses the uh, gray area 
often. Let's do uh, Netflix and then Nvidia and that'll be it. So Netflix, you can see there's two big red candles here. Um, how many times does it go outside of the gray, er gray area? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So Netflix, would, the put spread on Netflix would have lost 11 times, but at least it's savable. Call spread, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it lost more times on the call spread. But I would still choose the put spread, wins more often overall, and when it loses, I can try to save it. So I'm not looking at everything, I'm looking at a few popular stocks, but you could already tell which side wins more often. So instead of trying to guess, the direction instead of trying to anticipate the direction every time I just take to one side I already know that it's going to win more often and when it doesn't I try to save it if I want to save it now Nvidia back in 2004 that doesn't count it was still probably a small market cap but look at this huge drop if you had a naked put you'd be in trouble but besides that uh, what happened to the colors I don't like the colors anyways so how many times did the red side uh, surpass the gray area one two three that's it one two th this is a small one one two three four five so just five times that's pretty good and you could obviously see there's way more green than red so once again keep it simple I don't know many put spread would have won way more often so even if even if you had just taken the loss on these ones instead of trying to save you would have made $1 way more often instead of losing $4. Because if you didn't try to save it, you'd probably lose $4. Usually at earnings and a five point wide put spread at expected move should get you $1 if the premiums are good. So when you win, you win $1. When you lose, you lose $4. You would have lost, just if you just played Nvidia, for example, Nvidia you would have lost one, two, three, four, five. So four times five is $20. But then you would have won one, you would have won all the other times. So uh, how many times? I said you would lose five times. Let's see how many events are actually shown here. So I would have lost five times. I think I'll go to, it should be here actually, stock stats. All right, so how many events are shown here? Come on, 76, it's always 76. So I would have lost five times four, right? So I would have lost $20. Uh, and then I would have won $76. I would have won $1 76 times. So 76 minus 20, I'm still up $56. If I had just played an out of the money put spread on Nvidia for every earnings. All right, so this is, so that's basically the reason why I prefer to play. So that's basically the reason why I prefer to play the put spread. And I just showed you an example with RH today. Thing is, with if you play the call spread and you have to, try, if you try to save it and you, Eventually, there's no way of rolling it. it. It the stock will move higher faster than you can roll. But a put side, even if it drops at, at some point, the stock eventually comes back up. That's the general direction of the stock market. It's to go, but it's to go up. It's not to it's not to go down. The general there are people in the company working hard to move the stock up. So that's the goal. That's the general direction. So, for me, I feel more comfortable trying to save and roll. A, a put than to save and roll a call so once again that's why I prefer to sell puts for earnings all right if you have any questions leave in the comment section below like always if you can open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market use my referral link below to get $50 in free commissions thanks for watching